Hey, how's it going? This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and today I'm going to show you how to make the Vesper bracelet. This was designed by Joe Hunt, who goes under the Instagram handle 5 Cause Chaos, and she's one of the founders of the Hybrid Theory. This is a hybrid design, which means that you can make it on any loom that has two pegs, and believe it or not, all five of these bracelets are the Vesper design, just different color schemes. So, if you take a look, this is a color scheme that Joe Hunt made. Really cool. It has stripes down the side. And this is just a classic rainbow color scheme. This is one that I designed, which is like V-shapes, zebra stripes, whatever you want to call it. This is a classic Vesper. What's cool about this is you look at this angle, they're V's. You look at this angle, it's all types of weird shapes. And this is the bracelet that we'll be making today in this tutorial. But if you want to make any of these other four color schemes, I have a template link right here that'll tell you exactly what bands to place when. And without wasting your time any further, let's get started. For today's tutorial, We'll be making this bracelet right here, which is a simple rainbow and black alternating color sequence. And we're gonna make it on the monster tail. So, the first thing you wanna do is grab this band right here, which is black for me, and place it triple capped on this peg. And the easiest way to do that is to hold on to your band, place it over, twist it, create that cross, Use the edge of this peg right here to get in through that loop. Push this end of the band completely over. Now you have a cap band, but you need a triple cap band. So again, you're gonna grab an end, pull it, twist it, use the edge of this peg to get inside that loop, and push the rest of this band over. And there you have a triple cap band. Next, you're going to grab your first rainbow color and place it capped over these two pegs. And the easiest way to do that is to do the same thing you did with the triple cap. Just twist it, get in, bring this end over, and then use your hook to grab these two ends and bring it over on the other side. Okay? So triple cap, double cap on these two pegs. Push down, and next you want to grab a black and place it over normally. Just make sure it's not overlapping any of the other bands, and it's not. And at this point, you can grab your hook and grab all three ends of that triple cap that we started with and bring it up. You might want to hold on to the center of these bands with your index finger. Bring this up and over to the center. Next, you want to push down and then grab a rainbow band. Place it on top normally, push down, and then grab a black band and place it on top normally. Again, make sure they're not overlapping anywhere, and they're not, so we're good. So if you noticed, it was black, rainbow, black, rainbow, black. And for the rest of this tutorial, it's just going to alternate between black and rainbow. So you can see the color scheme right here, as well as the stitch sequence right here. At this point, you want to grab both ends of that cat band. And again, hold your index finger here so bands don't slip off. Bring both ends up and over to the center. Turn the loom around, do the same thing on this side. Grab both ends of that cap band, bring it up and over, then push down. And now you wanna grab a rainbow band, but you wanna consider this the first step of the sequence, finally. All of this that we just did was just the beginning, but right now we're placing this first band on top. And this first stitch is pretty easy. It's just regular, which means bottom up, turn the loom around, 
bottom up. Okay, push down. Next band is going to be black. Place it on top normally. And this stitch is the inverted center, which means you're going in front of these two center bands and then you're grabbing the bottom band and you're bringing it up and over letting it go do the same thing on the other side get in front of the two center bands grab that bottom band bring it up and over and this part is probably the trickiest part of all. If you've done the rocket bracelet, it might be a little easier. But right now, we're going in the center over here. And we're grabbing that black band. Or that regular stitch band we brought up. And bringing it over back onto the top peg. We're bringing this other band over here. Black band on the other side. Make sure we're grabbing just the black band. And we're bringing it down over this. And that's called a dive stitch. So once you have them back onto the pegs, you can push down. And next you're gonna grab your next rainbow band, which is yellow for me. And you're gonna place it on top of these two pegs normally. And then you're gonna bring the dive stitch over this one we just brought up and then we're going to do a inverted bottom which is in front of the second from the bottom then grab the bottom band bring it up do the same thing on the other side bring up that dive band or second from the top bring it up then an inverted bottom, which is in front of the second from the bottom. Grab the bottom band and bring it up. Okay, and push down. All right, so that's definitely the hardest part of it all. And that is actually the end of the first sequence. So again, this is the start of the sequence. We're gonna grab our first band, which is black now instead of rainbow. Place it on top normally and regular. Bottom up, turn the loom around, bottom up. Okay, push down. Next band is gonna be the next rainbow, which is neon green. Place it on top, inverted center, which is in front of the two center bands. Grab the bottom, bring it up, turn the loom around in front of the two center bands, grab the bottom, bring it up, and now we have to dive. So get inside, grab that regular rainbow, bring it up, grab that regular rainbow, bring it down, then push down, grab the next band, which is black, place it on top, okay, Grab the dive band, which is second from the top, bring it up, then inverted bottom, which is in front of second from the bottom, then grab the bottom band, bring it up, turn the loom around, bring the dive band up, which is second from the top, bring it up, and inverted bottom, which is in front of second from the bottom, grab the bottom, bring it up. Okay, so that is the end of our second sequence. Push down, next band is going to be rainbow. Place it on top normally, bottom up. Other side, bottom up, push down. Next band is black, place it on top inverted center so in front of the two center bands grab the bottom bring it up same thing on this side in front of two center bands grab the bottom bring it up 
again we're gonna dive so get inside here grab that loose band this black band bring it over grab that loose band over here which is this black band bring it over push down and then grab the next rainbow band place it on top bring up that dive band which is second from the top an inverted bottom which is in front of second from the bottom bring up that bottom band turn the loom around bring up that dive band which is second from the top bring it up an inverted bottom which is in front of second from the bottom grab the bottom and bring it up and push down so that is the end of our third sequence again I'm gonna repeat it again because this is quite complicated next band is black we're placing it on top and we're doing a regular bottom up turn the loom around bottom up push down next band is rainbow which is turquoise place it on top inverted center in front of two center bands grab the bottom bring it up inverted center in front of two center bands grab the bottom bring it up push down dive so in there we're grabbing that looser band inside bring it up and over in there we're grabbing that same band on the other side bring it up and over push down next band on top is black and here we're bringing up that dive then inverted bottom which is in front of the second from the bottom grab the bottom bring it up turn the loom around bring up that dive band second from the top an inverted bottom in front of second from the bottom grab the bottom bring it up and that is the end of the fourth sequence so if you take a look it is starting to develop I'm gonna do this three more times in detail before I just fade to the end and show you how to clip. So, sequence number five. Next band is going to be rainbow. Ocean blue for me. Place the band on top. Then it's a regular loop. Bottom band up. Bottom band up. Push down. Next band is going to be black on top inverted center so in front of the two center bands grab that bottom band bring it up turn the loom around in front of the two center bands grab the bottom band bring it up and now you want to dive you can notice the loose band which is this black band grab one end bring it back onto its peg do the same thing on the other side Bring this black band up then push down next band is rainbow so purple on top bring this dive band or second from the top band up then inverted bottom so in front of second from the bottom grab that bottom band and bring it up turn the loom around bring that dive band up or second from the top bring it up and inverted bottom in front of second from the bottom grab that bottom bring it up and then push down so now this is sequence number six black band on top grab that bottom band bring it up Turn the loom around, grab that bottom band, bring it up, push down. 
grab next rainbow place it on top inverted center so in front of the two center bands grab that bottom band bring it up in front of two center bands grab that bottom band bring it up now you want to dive so you want to go in and grab that blue band and tuck down just the blue bring it down just the blue bring it up push down next band is black on top and bring up the dive band then inverted bottom in front of second from the bottom grab the bottom bring it up turn the loom around bring up that dive band which is second from the top then inverted bottom which is in front of second from the bottom grab the bottom bring it up okay so this is sequence number seven this is going to be the last sequence I do and next is going to be red place this on top regular bottom up so bottom up turn it around bottom up push down next band is black place it on top inverted center so in front of these two center bands grab that bottom band bring it up inverted center so in front of two center bands grab that bottom bring it up then go inside and dive grab that bottom black bring it back over grab that top black inside bring it over push down next band is going to be rainbow which is pink place it on top bring that dive or that second from the top over an inverted bottom in front of second from the bottom grab the bottom bring it up turn the loom around bring that dive band or second from the top band up and over an inverted bottom in front of second from the bottom grab that bottom and bring it up okay so that was the end of my seventh sequence just gonna tug and as you can see that is what it looks like so if you got confused at any point just rewind and replay the parts that are in detail but if you notice the beginning of my sequence always starts off with the alternate color so sequence number six started off with black and sequence number seven started off with rainbow. I'm at the point where this bracelet is long enough to fit around my wrist and I'm gonna do one more sequence before I clip it. So my next band is gonna be rainbow. Place this on top normally. Regular, so bottom up. Turn the loom around, bottom up, and push down. Next is going to be black, goes on normally. Inverted center, so in front of these two center bands, grab that bottom band, bring it up, turn the loom around. Inverted center, so in front of these two center bands, grab that bottom band, bring it up. And then over here, we're going to push down slightly and dive. So grab that loose black, bring it down, grab that loose black over there, bring it up, push down. Next band is rainbow, which is ocean blue for me. Place it on top, bring that dive band up, an inverted bottom in front of that second band from the bottom grab that bottom band bring it up turn the loom around bring that dive band up in front of second band from the bottom grab that bottom band bring it 
up and push down. So this is the beginning of my last sequence and now what I want to do is place a cat band over these two pegs. So the next band is black and I'm going to place it cap. So I'm just going to place it cap on this peg first, twist it, use the edge of this peg to get in that loop and push this other end over. So we have a cap band on this peg. I'm going to use the hook to grab these two ends and bring it over to the other side. Okay. Since this is the first step of the sequence, we're still going to do the first stitch, which is regular bottom up. Turn the loom around, regular bottom up, push down. Next band that we're going to grab is rainbow, but we're going to place it on top normally. So normally on top and we're going to do the second stitch, which is inverted center in front of these two center bands. But remember one set is capped. We're grabbing that bottom band and bring it up and over. This time it's going to be a little weird because there's so much tension from that cap band. I'm going to turn the loom around, do the same thing, inverted center, so in front of these two center bands, one set being capped, grab that bottom band, bring it up and over, and we're going to dive. If you want to loosen up these black bands, you can just go in here and tug, that'll loosen it so it's straight. Over here you see it got caught, so go in. Just tug a little bit and you'll see it loosened. Over here you want to grab that loose dive band, which is this turquoise. Make sure it's only the turquoise. Bring it back on top of this peg. Grab the turquoise on the other side. Just the turquoise and bring it down. Push down. And the next band we're placing on top is black, normally. Okay, now bring the dive band, which is second from the top, up. And now this is the last time we're bringing up bands. So we're actually gonna grab all these three ends. So that bottom band and both ends of that cat band. Take your index finger, hold it in the center and bring these three ends up, turn the loom around, do the same thing on this side, dive band up, which is second from the top, this band right here, bring it up, and bring all three ends on the bottom, two ends being the cat band, up and over. Okay, and now you wanna grab these two ends and place them on top of this peg. So I'm just going to hold on to these two bands over here with my thumb. Then grab these two bands just like this with the hook facing up. Pull it off and carefully bring these two bands onto this peg. You can help with your thumb. Just like that. Now that you have all four ends on this peg, you can grab a C-clip and clip these four ends. Have the groove on the top, go about halfway in and pull up. Once you know you have all four ends, you can pull this off and there you go. Now you wanna clip the other side. Just make sure it's straight and not twisted. And you wanna grab the three ends of that triple cat band that you started off with these right here. Just give it a tug. And there you go. That is the completed Vesper bracelet designed by Joe Hunt. And here are the other variations. And if you like this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. This is Rob from Justin's Toys.
I hope you enjoyed it. Happy looming.